This woman is making very serious and scandalous allegations against Prince Andrew and you. Have you ever met this woman? Absolutely not. I don't know who she is. She's made it up out of whole cloth. She said I had sex with her on Jeffrey Epstein's island. I was on his island once with my wife. The records will show this. My wife, my daughter, a prominent uh, Harvard Business School professor, his wife, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, and their children. I was never out of my wife and daughter's sight for the 24 hours on the, I was on the island. She said I had sex with him uh, on Jeffrey Epstein's ranch in New Mexico. I was there for about an hour once before the building was complete. Nobody was in the building. I just toured the building. She said I had sex with her on uh, Jeffrey Epstein's airplanes. The flight manifest will prove conclusively I was never on any airplanes with her. She's making it up at a whole plot, but the real villains are the lawyers, Paul Cassell, a former federal judge, and Brad Epstein, who filed this without doing any checking. If they had just checked the manifest, if they had just checked with me, if they had just checked the witnesses, they would know not to fire this kind of stink ball uh, in court without checking. These lawyers will be disciplined. I am seeking their disbarment, and that's what ought to happen to them. No lawyer ought to be able to practice who makes these kind of allegations that are false and demonstrably and provably false. Don't make up stories that have no basis whatsoever in truth. I never met this woman. I never touched her. I was never massaged by her. There was no contact, no contact whatsoever, and I will prove it conclusively, and then I will bring disciplinary charges and prove that these lawyers knew that this was false, could easily have checked and didn't, and the end result will be that these lawyers will be disbarred, because no lawyer should be able to practice when they have those low ethics and low ethical standards. I have challenged her, I have challenged her yes. to repeat those statements uh, in public. She has refused to. She says, I'm trying to silence her. It's the exact opposite. Repeat the statement so then I can sue you. But the statements were filed in a privileged legal document. The document didn't even ask for a hearing. It didn't say we can prove it. Just through this stink bomb. It's the legal equivalent of writing graffiti on a bathroom wall and then running away. But I will take action. I'm filing today a sworn affidavit denying categorically the truth. I'm seeking to intervene in the case. I am challenging her to file rape charges against me. I waive any statute of limitations, any immunity, because if she files a false rape charge against me, she goes to jail. The end result of this case should be she should go to jail. The lawyer should be disbarred. And everybody should understand that I am completely and totally innocent. The court documents that you're referring to, we have an excerpt of one of them. Jeffrey Epstein required Jane Doe, number three, to have sexual relations, relations with Dershowitz on numerous occasions while she was a minor, not only in Florida, but also on private planes in New York, New Mexico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. In addition to being a participant in the abuse of Jane Doe, number three, and other minors, Dershowitz was an eyewitness to the sexual abuse of many other minors by Epstein and several of Epstein's co-conspirators. Did you ever witness anything untoward or Absolute. any sort of sexual encounter with, with Absolutely Epstein? not. And I wrote to her lawyers and told them that four or five years ago when that allegation was made that I might have been a witness. Remember that this woman is a prostitute. She is a liar. She has charged Bill Clinton with having sex with her on the island when Secret Service records will obviously show he was never on the island. She claimed to meet the Queen. Buckingham records will show that isn't true. How does a lawyer rely on the statement of a woman who is a serial perjurer, serial liar, serial prostitute, and bring charges against somebody with an unscathed reputation like me without even checking? Shame on those lawyers. They have to pay a heavy price for what they have done in abusing the legal system. The story is simply false. It is, it's not a matter of degree. It's totally, willfully, knowingly false. And these lawyers who are putting this story forward have to pay a heavy consequence. I am going to sue them for defamation. I am going to see that they're disbarred. I challenge them to come on your show and repeat the statement. Let them just come on your show and say, Alan Dershowitz had sex with this woman, and they will be in court the next day having to justify that statement. Right now, they're hiding behind privilege. They're refusing to make those statements. They put this in a legal document which gives them protection and they are behaving absolutely unethically. I am accusing them of unethical behavior. That's a defamation if it's false. Let them sue me. I await the challenge. I await every opportunity to prove my innocence and their guilt. So, Alan, what happens next? What are you going to do today? Today I'm filing a sworn statement, um, making the same challenges I put forward today. I'm filing a motion to intervene in the case in which they filed it. They don't want me to intervene because they don't want me to have any opportunity to answer. Uh, we are preparing also disbarment and disciplinary papers. Uh, I am issuing the challenges I've issued to have her charge me with rape, the crime of rape, the most serious crime anyone can imagine, because if she does, she will go to jail for filing a false rape charge. I am taking very, very aggressive actions to make them come forward and justify their conduct. So far, they've hidden behind privilege, they've hidden behind a legal document that they filed, and they've refused to comment 
beyond a lawyer-like statement, which doesn't repeat the allegations. Come out from behind the privilege. Come on the show. Make the statement. Stand behind what you said. The statements are totally, completely, categorically false from top to bottom. Look, this is a zero-sum game. Either I will end up being disbarred and criminally charged, or they will end up being disbarred and criminally charged. There's no gray area here. One of us is telling the truth. One of us is lying. I am telling the truth, and I can prove it, and they are lying, and I can prove it. She's trying to sell a book. She sold her story already to uh, various British uh, tabloids. She's a serial liar. She's a woman who claims to have been with the Queen, to have been with Bill Clinton uh, on the island. She's made up stories from the beginning of her life. She has a criminal record. The prosecutor in Palm Beach County once refused to bring a case because she had no credibility. The lawyers could easily have found this out. I found all this out in one day. The lawyers could have found this out. She is a totally non-credible person. Nobody should believe a word she says. The records establish that. Why these lawyers did it, put them on your show, ask them the question. Why would they try to destroy the reputation of somebody with a 50-year perfect reputation in order to what, gain some money, gain some litigation advantage? I don't understand it. I've written to friends of mine who know Paul Cassell and asked him, why would he do this? Why would he engage in such unethical behavior? Why would he put his bar license on the line? Why would he put his academic teaching career on the line? He may get fired from his teaching career for filing this kind of unethical uh, uh, yeah. document. And if he's disbarred, he probably will be fired. Ask him that question. You've asked me every question. I will answer any question. I'm not hiding behind any privilege. Now make him justify his conduct. I make a prediction. They will not state on your show, quote, Alan Dershowitz had sex with this woman. They will not do that because if they do that, they're in court the very next day being sued for defamation for $100 million.